Hello viewers, welcome to Elemu TV, a station whereby we are going to interact and also learn together. We are going to have our mathematics form 1, lesson 7, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on the greatest common divisor. Uh, but before that, we are going to have the following lesson objectives, whereby by the end of the lesson you should be able to uh, identify the LCM and the GCD of numbers. Here the LCM is standing for the least common multiple and the GCD is for the greatest common divisor of numbers. Welcome. Let us start uh, with factors because you must get uh, factors of a certain number for you to get the, either the LCM or the GCD. Um, for the factors of 12, we can uh, have is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. Remember these factors are the, are the numbers that are divisible by 12. And also we can have the factors of 16, which are 1, 2, 4, 8, and also 16. Don't remember to add the number itself. So um, the two uh, numbers have one largest common factor. The number is 4. Remember, let us go back here and look at the factors of both 12 and 16. Uh, both, actually, the largest common factor is 4. Because there are other large factors like 8 and 16 and also 6 and 12, but it is not common. So we get the common largest factor, that is 4. So that is to mean the GCD of the GCD or the greatest common factor of 12 and 16 is 4 because it is common in both and is the largest. Uh, factors of other numbers include, for example, when you're being told you get the factors of 72, you're going to have 2, 3, 4. 6, 8, 9, 12, and, uh, and, uh, and so forth. So for the 96, we have the following factors. We have also for 300. But now what you should consider here, um, uh, the number that is on in our, in our blue, that is 12. The numbers that are uh, above 12, we have got for the 72, we have 18. For 96, we have 16. For 300, we have 15, uh, and so forth. So that is to mean the numbers before 12 are they might be common or similar in both, but the greatest common number here between 72, 96, and 300 is 12. So in our case, we normally say that the greatest common number that is uh, common in uh, both the factors that are being given is the greatest common divisor. So if you're being told you get the GCD or the greatest common divisor of 72, 96 and 300, we are going to say it is 12 because it's the number that is dividing or it is uh, cutting across all the numbers and the largest one. Uh, we can also have another way of getting the GCD uh, whereby you can use tables. For example, when you're being told you get the GCD of 72, 96 and 300, you start with a common factor which will divide both, uh, that is not both, but uh, all the number factors that are being uh, asked. So in our case, we have 72, 96, and also 300. So you're going to get 2, you divide by 72 to get 36, and also 2, you divide by 96 to get 48, and 300, you divide by 2 to get 150. So you divide uh, that way up to whereby you are going to get another common factor like 3. So you divide 18 by 3 to get 6, 24 by 3 to get 8, and 75 by 3 to get 25. Remember, now <laughs> we have gotten 6, 8, and 25. There is no any other common factor that can divide the numbers that we have gotten here. That is 6, 8, and 12. So we stop at that. And now to get the GCD from the table, we are going to get uh, 2 times 2 times 3. Because it is, uh, these are the uh, common factors that we have gotten. So when we multiply 2 by 3 by uh, 2, we are going to get 12. Therefore, 12 is divided with the greatest common divisor of uh, 76, 96, and also 300. We are, uh, sometimes we can be given one problem whereby, for example, we can be told three tanks are capable of holding 36, 84, and 90, 90 liters of milk to determine the capacity of the greatest vessel, vessel which can be used to fill each one of them. Here, what you are being required, you should get the greatest common divisor of the given numbers. <coughs> Sorry. You should get the GCD of the uh, uh, given numbers. So we can have the table to get the GCD whereby you can divide uh, uh, all the numbers by 2 to get 18, 42, and also 45, as you can see from our screen, and also 3. Uh, when you divide by 3, 18 by 3 to get 6, 42 by 3 to get 14, and also 45 by 3 to get 15, there is no any other common factor to divide uh, 6, 14, and 15. So we end it up there, and to get the GCD, we are going to multiply uh, 2 multiplied by 
3. So the GCD of the receipt is 84 and 90. You are going to get it as 6. Having done and said that, we are going to have the following activity whereby uh, you are being told similar steel bars of length 200 meters, 300 meters, and 360 meters are to be cut into equal pieces. You should find the largest possible area of square piece that can be made from the three. And uh, to get uh, more of this lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Mathematics Student Book 1, which is the fourth edition uh, Kenya Literature Bureau. And you can also um, reach us uh, to get more of our mathematics lesson. You can reach us by sending us an SMS through the number that is on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you can tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all this channel and you shall enjoy more of our mathematics lessons. Thank you.